What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, KFX. I'm back with another video, and today, we got a lot to discuss. We're going to talk about the preseason game. We're going to talk about a trade for interior lineman by the name of, hold on, let me stop this highlight tape before they copyright me, by the name of Greg Manx. Uh, he used to play for the Texans, play for the Ravens, traded. We just swapped late picks. Okay, so we're going to talk about that trade. We're going to talk about the preview, and also, I'm going to this game tomorrow, uh, this preseason game right here, even though Tua and I'm not playing, it's fine. I'm going to go just because I just want to see the Dolphins play. Uh, and so I will be going to this game. Let me know in the comments or on Twitter if you're going to go. Let me know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to this game tomorrow. So the post game will be a little late because I probably won't get home until later. I don't even know when I'm going to get home, honestly. I might have to upload it on Monday. I don't know. But whatever. Uh, <clears throat> that is going to be on the schedule for tomorrow. Um, I might fight a Bengals fan. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. Um, if I drink enough, I, I, I might fight a Bengals. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, Bruh. let's get into the video. So, number one, let's talk about this trade because that's kind of important news. We just traded for Greg Manx. And to be quite honest with you guys, by, by the way, let me just get a couple other things out the way, too. I, I, I got a lot to talk about. When I don't upload for a while, I'll be having a lot on my mind. So, number one, uh, podcast news. I'm, we uploaded one podcast. It did well. I was excited to upload another one, but I've been so busy. And when I say busy, I mean busy with Madden. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, I play a lot of Madden. I, like, when Madden comes out, I just, like, everything just just falls off. And then, also, I've been working, and I just started school again. So, I've been a little busy, and, and it, honestly, it just hasn't really been nothing to talk about like, that much. But, besides practice, the same shit we've been talking about. But, um, it's been so, but, you know, it's almost about to get to that point where it's lit in the season, okay? It's almost gonna be lit, but... So, so the podcast, I mean, maybe it's coming back soon. I don't know. My podcast partner, he kind of started right now because I was I wasn't messaging him back. But, but I was, but listen, I was, I, I was f Greg Manx. Now to this trade, I, I, I like to be honest with you guys, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if our offensive line sucks this year, this re, this is a like us drafting Jalen Waddle over Sewell. And by the way, I'm over the, it. I wanted Sewell. I'm happy with Waddle. Let me just get that. Let me let me let me pref let me just preface my next statement by saying that I'm happy with Waddle. But us getting Waddle over a potential potential generational talent at tackle is regime defining. If our offensive line sucks, so if our offensive line is terrible and the the reason why we're losing games and Waddle can't even really get the ball because or on the deep deep passes because our offensive line doesn't have time to block, that is regime defining. So I'm hoping because like every sign kind of points to me like every it's so many red flags on this o line that's just showing me that our offensive line's gonna suck and i hope i'm wrong but there's just red flag red flag red flag red flag. and and this would be the most like the single least surprising thing ever is if the dolphins offensive line sucks all offseason i knew our offensive line was terrible like i always but then i always thought like okay that they know more than i do so I guess our offensive line might be good. I guess Austin Jackson is developing to be a beast. I guess because I'm assuming we're not addressing it properly because we think we have a good offensive line. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to trust them. They know more than I do. This isn't Adam Gates. This is Brian Flores and them. So I, I trust them. But if our offensive line does suck, it would be the least surprising thing ever because, oh, there's a reason why I won a Sewell. And everybody was, well, not everybody, but half the fan base is talking about receivers and fucking tight ends. And I'm like, yo, are we going to, but like, again, I, I'm not mad at you guys because everybody gets excited. Everybody understands. Like, it's a natural progression of, of of being a fan of the Dolphins, right? This this is and it's been this way since I was ten, okay, <laughs> or however long. We lose all season. Blame the offensive line. The all, the the draft comes. We want to draft skill positions. We want to draft this guy, that guy. That, oh no, but this guy. Oh, he catch touchdowns. Oh, he he. Oh, he can do a three sixty. Oh, he run a four two. Oh, he do. But then. And then, and then we draft that guy, and then the next season we lose every game because of our offensive line. And then, the, and we the whole offseason we like we need an offensive line. And then the draft comes, let's draft a receiver. Let's draft a like it happens every single season. Like we we want to draft the most exciting player in the draft, which is fine. If our offensive line is, it holds up, Jalen Waddle was the greatest pick ever. If he wasn't, this is going to be bad. It is regime defining. Um, but yeah. I, th I, that's just a big picture to me. Every sign is pointing because it looks like we're just scrambling for offensive alignment at this particular point. Greg Mangus, he has a lot of versatility, can, can play guard and centers. Um, you know, you look at the kind of people we've been signing or trading for, Isaiah Wilson, the uh, DJ Flukers. You know, it's just like we're so dead. Like, I think we're, like, realizing right now that, like, offensive line is not good and is we're trying to, like, fix it now. But at this point, it's damn near too late. So, uh, however we're going to do it, we're going to do it. But... 
if our offense line sucks this year and it's costing us games, I think it's honestly regime defining, to be honest. Um, but that's going to be that. So let's just hope that that's not the case. Greg Manx, welcome to the team. Hope you're good. Hope you can help, whether it be depth, whether it be whatever. But uh, we'll see who makes the team. Is, is this spelling, spelling the doom for like a guy like Matt Scora or, or I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but anyway, let's get into the preview. So Tua is not really playing or none of the starters. So obviously we're just going to see for depth. It's still going to be a fun game to watch because everybody's going to be fighting for basically the NFL. Some people fighting for their NFL career. Some people just fighting for their roster spot right now. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, it's a lot on the line for the people that are playing, even though it's not the highest quality of people playing. It's a lot on the line. And let me just start. Let me just say, I hate that the season doesn't start next week. I thought it did. I'm like, oh, well, at least next week we get to watch real football. No, it starts in two weeks. What the fuck? What? I'm mad about that. But anyway, so um, so I'm looking forward to, um, you know, seeing these people fight for their pretty much careers. All right? And that's how they got to be looking at it, their careers. Joe Burrow will play a little bit. So I'm looking forward to seeing Joe Burrow at least. Some of the, obviously, they're not going to put him back in there with backup so the Bengals starters will play so we're gonna see if the Bengals are really poverty because they should be able to score on our second stream or whoever the hell we have in there because I don't think and Brian Flores already made it clear majority of our starters not playing so uh should be fun for, for it should be super fun um and I'm gonna be there so it, it, it should just be very very fun a good time regardless of who's playing or not you know as we head on to the season, um, and, and, and and these people are playing for their, especially the receivers and things like that, they're playing for, like, a lot right now. You know what I'm saying? So, the stakes are high. This is not a game where, you know, it, it's almost, this is almost, you know, different than when the starters are playing. Like, the guys like Tua, the guys like uh, Devontae Parker, who kind of know they're going to make the team. So, it's like, uh, this is irrelevant for them. This is going to be... These Dolphin players that are playing today are going to all be playing for a lot at line, like a lot of stakes uh, tomorrow, man. So uh, this game should be uh, pretty fun from that perspective to watch. But at the end of the day, it's not going to be the most talented. It's not going to be the most competitive. But it's going to be fun from that perspective individually that these players could try to carve out a role on this team. Um, <clears throat> overall, I don't really care if we win or lose. Obviously, I would prefer to win. Uh, but if we lose, it, like, who cares? Um... I just want to see everybody stay healthy, even the backups. Everybody on the Bengals side stay healthy as well. And um, see some decent football, some touchdowns, uh, you know what I'm saying, the play calling, things of that nature. It's going to be amazing, okay? And as we get into the season, I'm just prepared, you know what I'm saying, at this particular point. You know, off season for me is so boring, I, I, truthfully, you know what I'm saying? It's the reason why, you know, if I ever were to stop doing YouTube, well, not really stop, but if I ever were to, like, just completely give it up, it would be just because the offseason is so boring to me. Like, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, there's some fun stuff, the free agency, the the the, the trades, the the draft, but even uh, everything surrounding it. It's only the draft's really fun for me, like, on draft day. It's not fun for me to watch a whole bunch of prospects that we're not going to draft. We're only going to draft one of them, but I'm going to watch 15 different prospects, see all of them. Bruh. It's not really that fun to me because I'm a Dolphin fan. I just like to see... Who we drafted, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so it's 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 different. But when the season starts, this is the best moment for YouTube. Not even just because you know this is when I typically get the most viewers. This is just typically the best, just because it's the most lit. It's the most to talk about. It's stuff actually happening in the off season. You got to reach. You got to do all this. You just get content. This is the best part. So I'm excited for another year. Don't know how many more years that we have doing this or I have doing this because. Because admittingly, over the last years, I've slowed down a little bit. So I don't know. I don't even know when this is, you know what I'm saying, going to gonna get old. So it, it, it's cool right now. It's fun. It's amazing. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the year, okay? So get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the, this entire video. Let me know what you guys think about, you know, everything that was going on. Like, comment, subscribe. Roll to 11K. I'm out.